Hello, I'm Renaissance Austin, and today I'm going to talk about making winter hats. For the most part, you want to be mindful about your fiber content and your pattern when it comes to making a winter hat. And here are a few examples. This particular hat is an open work pattern and it's not going to keep your head warm in the fall or winter season. So this is considered more so a summer hat because it's open, it's breezy, and it will allow air to come through. This hat here is a little bit more closed, but it's still sort of lightweight when it comes to the fiber content and it's still a little open. This hat is good for spring, possibly going into summer um, and coming out of summer, but when it comes to the fall and cold season, it's still a little lightweight. Your winter hat is going to be thicker, it's going to be heavier, and your pattern is going to be more of a closed pattern. The important thing to keep in mind with creating a winter hat is one, you can use any hat pattern you like. The only difference is you need to use a heavier wool, um, like an alpaca, a wool blend. You can use wool and acrylic blend. Um, and then you want to make sure, especially that the pattern that you use is a closed pattern. You can also decrease your crochet hook size, which means going down one so that when you crochet your pattern, it will be an even tighter pattern. The whole goal is to make sure that, um, that no air comes through. Also, another important factor with a winter hat is you want to make sure it covers your ears. So you want to keep your ears warm in a winter season and the hats tend to be a little bit longer instead of shorter like this basic you know summer beanie pretty much and that is pretty much how you create a winter hat i'm renaissance austin thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time